This video is brought to you by Triple Sleeve TCG. Check out their website at triplesleevetcg.com. So, you got detention. And uh, this is Hose bringing you a deck profile on Brant Gate. Uh, what are they? Battle princesses? A cab princesses? Fucking. Whatever. Uh, go to horny jail uh, princesses. And I'm being serious. If you do sexualize these, you will go to jail. All of them are under 18, you sick freaks. God, I'm just fucking judging you. Anyways, let's start the deck profile off. Uh, Aurora Battle Princess Ruby Red. When, uh, wrote upon if you want second draw card. Next, the one that box you into horny jail. Uh, Kyanite Blue. When she's placed on Vanguard, search your deck for up to one prison card. Reveal it. Put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. A uh, pretty good card. Always gonna be in the right deck, obviously. Cause I'm pretty sure that's how it works. They're just gonna give you like four cards that you use with a single grade three, and that's just gonna be the right deck. So, uh. Anyways, uh, second skill when it's placed on rear guard. If one or more of your opponent's cards are imprisoned, counter blast one, soul blast one, draw a card. Good for when you can't use Cheval Stud. Because your opponent's playing Bruce, and he's not, and your opponent's not letting you, uh, bind shit, uh, imprison shit. My bad. Still thinking of Narukami. Because they're fucking greedy. <sighs> I hate them. I hate Miles. Fuck you, Miles. Anyways, uh, grade two. When this unit is placed on Vanguard Circle, your opponent chooses a card from their hand and imprisons it. Uh, pretty good card. It's, that's for free. Um... Second skill is, if one or more of your opponent's cards are imprisoned in your prison, this unit gets plus 2k skill. Doesn't matter, I don't run her for her rearguard skill. Finally, the uh, main event of the deck, Aurora Battle Princess Seraph Snow. During your turn, if one or more of your opponent's cards are imprisoned in your prison, this unit gets plus 10k. And if three or more cards are imprisoned in uh, this unit gets drive plus 1, so we go back to, uh, what is it, stride? Uh, when you have three in, uh, imprisoned, second skill is act once per turn, counter blast one, choose two of your opponent's rear guards and imprison them in your prison. So I love the second skill. Oh, well, okay, I love this deck in general because it fucks over Verena so hard. It's so funny. Like, because v the way Verena's worded, the overdress cards under it, uh, like, for visual aid, the overdress cards under it, uh, uh, under a Verena are technically part of the card. So if the card gets imprisoned, everything under it moves into the prison. So all I need to do is to imprison one Verena and her uh, triple drive is good to go. Right off the bat. So fun. Uh, oh shit. Spilled my spaghetti. Uh, Alright, other grade threes. Uh, I run four... I run three other uh, Seraph Snow for that nice... What is it? Persona ride? Next to uh, Granite Road Fair Tiger. Oh my god. I'm, the reason this deck profile is so late is because these motherfuckers would not get here. I swear to god. I ordered uh, some from, like, I forgot one seller on TCG Player. They never arrived. So, uh, so I had to get a refund. I ordered a second set. They both took, like, two fucking weeks to arrive. It is so stupid. I... The, U.S. Postal Service is fucked right now, I get that, but still, two fucking weeks for a rare that I'm just gonna take out next set anyways? I ordered four of these in, in the time that it took to come. Uh, the next, like, Fighter's Collection set dropped, and I had to drop, uh, two of them for two of the, uh, the next card, Spark Lamon. So dumb. This is gonna get replaced by, like, that new grade two, what is it, turquoise something? Anyways... Enough of me bitching. I run four Aurora Battle Princess uh, Spark Lamone. Her skill is when this unit's attack hits, choose up to two of your opponent's units in their drop zone and imprison them in your prison. This is a good fuck you to uh, Bruce because while I was playing with Miles, I literally never had more than two in my uh, in prison because he just wouldn't call cards. And I couldn't bind from... So, like, the ones that were bound were... Just the one from his hand that I bound with, uh, what is it, Rosette Pink? 
and some other one he left on the field. It was just like really annoying to play against. And then he just calls them back because his deck doesn't use any counter blast, so he calls two back at a time when I do imprison them. So that's really annoying. That that is why I like Spark Lamone now. Next, I run three uh, Agra Rouge. If two of or two, uh, let's try that again. If two or more of your opponent's cards are imprisoned in your prison, this unit gets plus 5k power and plus 10k shield. Uh, I like that shield. It's really nice. When this unit is placed on rearguard circle, Soul Blast 1, choose one of your opponent's front row rearguards and imprison it in your prison. Really good card. Uh, one of the more expensive ones in this deck. What am I talking about? Every card is expensive now. Fucking thing sold out within a day. Fucking Bushiro didn't know how to... Eh, let's not get into that. Anyways. Uh, grapple external. Continuous rear guard circle. During the battle, this unit attacks. If an opponent's card is imprisoned in your prison, this unit gets plus 5k power. Like this card, it's just simple and easy to use. Next, I run for Autonomic Cannon. Their skill is... If one of your opponent's cards is imprisoned in your prison, this unit gets plus 2k power and plus 5k shield, so 10k booster. And a 10k shield. Really nice. Also gonna get replaced eventually, because uh, we got a lot more uh, cards coming in set, too. Next. Four perfect guards. It does what every other perfect guard in uh, Overdress does. Uh, when, per when it's placed on Guardian Circle, uh, it cannot, your uh, units can one of your units cannot be hit by battle. If your hand has two or more cards, choose a card and discard it. So if you only have two, if you place this, you have one card in hand, you don't need to discard. I think that's a really nice change. Next I run two Kyanite Blue, uh, I already explained the uh, rearguard skill, and two Cheval Stud, uh, Cheval Stud skill. Uh, Counter Blast 1 and Soul Blast 1. Choose one of your opponent's rearguards and imprison it in your prison. Then, if three or more cards are imprisoned in your prison, draw a card. So, almost identical to this one, but this one uh, takes a lot more prison. You need a lot more prison for this. Uh, you need to meet your uh, arrest quota. They need to uh, un unfairly imprison minorities in Vanguard. And speaking of, here is the prison. Uh, you rest one of your units to uh, play this card. Auto, when it's placed into the order zone, Soul Blast 3. And uh, these are the skills that you use to free them. Uh, when your opponent can normal call a rear guard, they it can perform the following. Soul Blast 1. If they do, they choose one of their imprisoned rear guards and call it a rear guard circle. Or they counter blast 1. If they do so, they choose two of their imprisoned rear guards and call them to rear guard circle. Next. One over trigger. A skill, you know what an over trigger is. It's one of... It's, I think it's my favorite trigger now. It really pissed everyone off when it was introduced, but it's a one of in a deck. It's uh, if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. Like just stop be, uh, bitching. It's really funny. Uh, also, like a uh, pseudo heal because if you check it for a damage check, it just disappears. All right. Its effect is when revealed as a trigger, remove uh, this card, then draw a card, and choose one of your units, and it gets power plus 100 million until the end of the turn. If revealed during a drive check, activate its additional effect. Additional effect: double the power and crit of all of your front row units until the end of the turn. Uh, so like two million if you, 200 million if you put it on Vanguard or Rearguard. Or, Whatever you put it on, and it doubles the crit. Pretty much unguardable unless it's, they're using a PG. I really like this card. Alright, now for my trigger lineup, I run... It's out of order. Oh god. Why is it out of order? For heal, uh, I'm not running the Battle Princess heals. The, the battle, um, most of the Battle Princess triggers because I don't really like them. They make me uncomfy, and I like use I like Cardinals a lot, their art style a lot more. It reminds me of Star Vaders. That was a deck I really liked. 
Next I run 8 crit, 4 Bardizone, and 4 Laris, you And finally, I don't run draws in this deck because. If I know if I don't know I run draws, I run uh, 3 Ale Blood, uh, the uh, front trigger because every nation now has a front now has front triggers i really like that too honestly overdreads really made me uh like vanguard again let's see i'm gonna talk a little bit so i'm just gonna have the ride deck out on the field so <sighs> but yeah that's the deck profile seraph so snow's really good she looked uh she when she was first announced she reminded me of uh what are they, what are they called? The attendants from uh, the Persona games in the Velvet Room. Uh, so yeah, like look at that. She's wearing the blue. That's literally just one, an attendant. Kyanite blue is literally just Marie. Honestly, they're pretty cool. Let's see. Do I care enough to make it? No, I don't. I was gonna put them in order, like to make the little alt uh full art thing but anyways yeah that pro that's the deck profile uh richard can you put a counter of any every time i said anyways in this video thank you that's it if you have any suggestions like to change stuff in the deck i'm more than welcome to listen to it if you have questions for the deck um you can leave them in the comments if you have questions about the deck you can leave them in the comment section i'm not going to answer them but you feel free to leave them anyways yeah that's it thank you for watching have a great night